Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympia Arts and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, today I have brought another interesting problem from Pathfinder. This is challenge your understanding problem number two uh, from kinematics. Many of my students were facing a lot of difficulty in this one so I decided to do a video on it. Okay, so without much delay let's straight away get into the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, one end of a light and extensible thread of length L is held stationary over a frictionless horizontal floor while a small bead tied at the other end of the thread is describing a circular path okay so this is uh, undergoing a circular path and this length is l okay circular path with a uniform speed v naught on the floor as shown in the figure okay the upper end of the thread is suddenly pulled vertically upwards with a constant acceleration a naught so this is uh, being pulled with an acceleration a naught uh, suddenly it doesn't make much of a sense uh, this doesn't mean that we are applying an impulse or something all it means is we start with a zero velocity and then it starts gaining some velocity. So it's being pulled with an acceleration and not any initial velocity, right? Uh, with a constant acceleration A naught. If the B does not leave the floor, find the magnitude of its acceleration immediately after the upper end of the thread is pulled. So the B is still moving in this plane. Uh, it will be doing some kind of uh, a motion in the plane. And we have to find the acceleration of the bead immediately after the this pulling uh, process has started okay so if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away so let's see so uh i'm the concept that i'm going to use in this video i have already proved that concept in another video and i'll also be giving the link to that video in the description box as well as in the recommended videos at the end of this uh, particular video so for now i'll be just uh, using that as a fact and uh, i'll be giving the link okay so what's the concept here? Acceleration in the general plane motion is given as acceleration vector is minus omega square r plus r double dot r cap. What is, uh, let me explain. So omega is, let's say this is the origin and some particle is moving in the plane. So the angle uh, uh, by the radial line, this angle will keep on changing with time. So this angle is theta. So and the, uh, omega is nothing but rate of change of this theta. That is d theta by dt or theta dot, right? and r is the distance from the origin so r and theta are its polar coordinates right so acceleration in general plane motion is uh, given by this formula and you can readily see that if it moves in a constant radius circle then r double dot goes to zero and this simply becomes centripetal acceleration and of course this term will also go to zero in that case and this is nothing but tangential acceleration r alpha in that case right so uh, i am not doing the proof here but as i told you uh, link will be shared okay okay so now, uh, uh, now let's utilize this uh, concept here. So now the, since the length of the string is constant, what I can say is, see, z dot is what? Let's say the, this vertical coordinate of the hand is z. So z dot is nothing but vertical velocity of the hand, right? So z dot is the vertical velocity of the hand and r dot is the rate at which uh, this comes uh, nearer to the center of the circle, okay? So r dot is this, uh, or you can say, uh, the point under, directly under the hand so let's say r dot is this velocity right so now you know that since the length of the thread is constant so component of velocity of this uh, uh, ball along the thread should be same as the component of velocity of the hand along the thread right and uh, since radius is decreasing as you move it uh, upwards this uh, this distance from the, the projection point will decrease so remember that r dot itself is a negative value so keeping that in mind you know that to make it positive, you have to make it minus r dot, minus r dot. So minus r dot sine theta is the component along the thread, right? This is theta, so this is 90 degree minus theta. So minus r dot sine theta should be equal to z dot cos theta. I hope this equation number two is clear. Okay, and just rearrange this. So you get r dot is minus z dot cot theta. Okay. Now uh, I am going to calculate r double dot y because uh, for calculating the radial acceleration I need r double dot as well as omega square. So I will be calculating both these things and then I am ready to write the radial component of acceleration. Okay. So r double dot just differentiate this what do you get? Uh, that's minus and you use the product rule then. So z dot and minus cos x square theta. Okay. Uh, there should have been a theta dot here. Uh, first function into derivative of uh, second so there should have also been a theta dot over here okay okay and plus cos theta uh, z double dot okay 
so uh, my math still worked out because i know that at the initial moment z dot is zero so anyway this term was going to be zero but in the product rule i made slight mistake i've corrected just now there should be a theta dot because uh, minus cos x square theta and d theta by dt would be there okay so uh, at t equal to zero we know that the the motion had just started so z dot is zero so r double dot is nothing but simply minus z double dot cot theta and z double dot is nothing but given acceleration uh, that was a okay and the problem itself is given that uh, acceleration it's uh, it's acceleration is a not so let me just write a not instead of a okay uh, so this is uh, a not cot theta okay okay so uh, now and what about the omega omega is the rate of rotation of the radius vector so in the projection if you see this is your r and this is rotating like this so v not divided by r is the angular velocity right so so that's what i have done so component of velocity perpendicular to the radius divided by the radius that's the angular velocity that's the standard procedure you learned while studying velocity approach okay so that's how we define the angular velocity of one point about the other point so omega is nothing but v not by r so i have r double dot and i have omega so now i'm ready to put these two things in the uh, equation number one that is this one this part to get the radial acceleration so if you do that you get radial acceleration is simply minus v naught square by r and minus a naught cot theta again this should be a naught cot theta and uh, okay and of course r i can later on put as l sin theta so this is okay now if i look at the free body diagram in the top view uh, what forces are acting on it so you know that t sin theta will be acting uh, towards the uh, center okay and of course there's an mg acting inwards and there is normal reaction acting outwards in the top view and there is a t cos theta acting upwards so you can see that there is no force acting in the tangential direction perpendicular to the radius there is absolutely no force and since there is no force in the tangential direction so tangential acceleration must be therefore zero so our work job is simplified because at this moment there is uh, no velocity uh, i mean there is no force acting uh, in the uh, direction perpendicular to the radius therefore tangential acceleration is zero so tangential acceleration is zero theta cap and centripetal acceleration we already found out and using 7 and 8 we can just again write the equation one we have figured out this part and this part is of course zero and just substitute to get the net acceleration okay so using 8 and 7 in equation 1 we get uh, uh, minus v naught square by r plus a cot theta again this should be a naught cot theta according to the question r cap okay and but r is l sin theta you can see r is what r is nothing but l sin theta this distance you see this is l this is theta this is 90 degrees so this is l sin theta so just put r is l sin theta and this is your final answer so that was my analysis of the problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis uh, please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for uh, networking with your fellow students and make sure you share it with at least one uh, fellow student okay and uh, most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel you know what to do uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel okay because that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos for all of you uh, regularly thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you